Hi, my name is Carla. I'm a registered nurse. This video is going to be focusing on doing a weight-based calculation. If you're not familiar with what a weight-based calculation is, let's look at the screen. When I see the screen, I see that I have a four milligram per kilogram per day. Typically, when I see those triple units that are divided by two slashes, I know that I'm going to be working with a weight-based calculation. The reason I know this is because I can see here in the center that kilogram, meaning that that four milligram per day is not going to focus mostly on just the milligram per day. We also have to consider the patient's weight to consider how much we're going to be giving the patient. So looking at this equation, I'm going to read it out loud and then we're going to work through it. A 41-year-old patient is prescribed four milligram per kilogram per day. Dilantin, phenytoin, oral suspension. The patient weighs 62.5 kilograms. The available bottle contains 150 milligrams per 5 ml. How many milligrams will the patient receive per day? Now, when you get these weight-based calculations, the question that they ask you can be, how many milligrams per day are you giving? How many mLs per day are you giving? Sometimes they'll even say, how many milligrams or mLs are you going to be giving per dose? Sometimes they're going to say things like in divided doses. For this one, this one's pretty simple. So let's work through this one. The first step that you always want to do when you're working on these questions is write equal and whatever you're trying to solve for. So for today, we're going to be doing dimensional analysis. So step one, I'm going to write equals. And what am I trying to solve for? Milligrams per day. So I'm going to write milligrams on the top and day on the bottom. Why? Because it says milligrams per day. That's what I need to solve for. So milligrams goes in the numerator, day goes into the denominator. Next step is going to be to figure out what I'm going to plug into my formula. Now with dimensional analysis, it's pretty straightforward. Plug in whatever you're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for milligrams per day. Do I see anything in my equation that gives me milligrams per day? I do. I see immediately that four milligrams and it has day. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right now. Now, how do I know what goes into the numerator and what goes into the denominator, the bottom part? When you're working with these triple units, I'm going to give you a hint that's going to simplify this whole thing for you. So it's not a whole disaster of seeing these triple units. The first unit, meaning that four milligrams goes into the numerator and then the following two units, meaning the kilogram and day, we are going to put into the denominator right next to each other. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to write four milligram over kilogram slash day. That is how you write a triple unit as a fraction. The first unit goes in the numerator and the following two units will go into the denominator. Now let's make sure that I have what I want into the numerator and what I want plugged into the denominator. So remember, we said we want milligrams in the top in the numerator. Yeah, I got milligrams. Perfect. Now I want a day in the denominator and I also have day in the denominator. That's perfect. So far, everything looks good. I do see a problem though. I have kilograms in the denominator. I don't want kilograms. My final answer does not have kilograms. So I'm not going to leave kilograms in there. I need to figure out a way to cancel out those kilograms. Now, do I see anything in the problem provided that has kilograms? I do. I see the patient's weight. I see 62.5 kilograms. So now what I can do is that I can plug in those 62.5 kilograms to cancel out these other kilograms that I have in the denominator currently. Now, if at this point you're like, okay, fine, I can plug it in, but where do I plug it in? Am I doing it into the numerator or into the denominator? And what goes on the top or the bottom if there's nothing that is joined to that 62.5 kilograms? Well, the way you figure out what you put into the numerator and into the denominator is figuring out what you're trying to cancel. Well, I'm trying to cancel out this kilogram right here. In order for me to be able to cancel out this kilogram that is in the denominator, I'm going to plug in the weight, that 62.5 kilograms, in the numerator. That is the only way that you can cancel out units. To cancel out units, you need that same unit on the numerator and in the denominator to be able to cancel them out. So I'm going to do times 62.5 kilograms. Now, I can leave that as is, but I like to organize my dimensional analysis formula to make sure that everything looks nice, neat, and organized. So I'm just going to put it over one. Putting it over one does not change 
any of its value. It's still 62.5 kilogram. This is just for my own sake to make sure that I have everything organized. Okay, so now that I have 62.5 kilograms in the numerator, I can go ahead and cancel out those kilograms. And I'm left with milligrams in the numerator and days in the denominator. And that is exactly what I want, right? My answer wants milligrams in the numerator and days in the denominator. So now I can go ahead and solve. So get your calculator and let's go ahead and just solve. So I'm going to do four times 62.5. That gives me 250 milligrams. Why? Because this is the only unit that is left over. And then on the bottom, I have just one and I have day. So I can just put one day. So now 250 divided by one day gives me a final answer of 250 milligrams per day. So that's my final answer. This patient, based off of their weight, is going to get 250 milligrams per day. Now, if you want to see more similar problems, for example, ones where they would ask you, now how many milliliters would you have given this patient based off of their weight per day? Or if you want to see maybe a similar one where they ask in divided doses, then go ahead and watch my other videos where I will be explaining more thoroughly how to do these problems.